why do we stop Jungle Beats? I'll put a pause on it. Um, I think a part of it is because the amount of work and effort we we're putting into it wasn't getting a huge amount of the traction back, which we probably wanted. Mm-hmm. Like we we're still getting a lot of a lot of traction back, but I feel like if we had even more so, I think for the amount of investment that oh, yeah. we put in, time wise, mm. energy, money, exactly, it was. Look, it was exhausting. Yeah, it, it was it could, enjoyable and I loved it, but it takes a toll on you because you have to sacrifice a lot of other things in your life to do that. See, I would use the word invest. Like, mm. I don't, I don't, I've kind of, uh, a mentor and friend of mine has kind of explained to me, like, I think sacrifice implies a loss, mm-hmm. right? Investment implies a purposeful decision to make a gain. That's right? a good idea because uh, a loss of time isn't really a loss because we're always losing time. Right, and we're putting it somewhere. Mm-hmm, okay. Exactly. So yeah, I think investment is a better way of putting it. Anyway, um, I think that was a part of it, like uh, investment versus reward, right? Yes. Risk versus reward, you could even say. Yeah, cause, I mean, well, I wouldn't call it, I don't know if I call it risk, but um, another component of it was, you know, we go, we went so hard in, in 2018, Yeah, we I put think out like it was. 250 videos or some shit. Right. And I think that amount of work, it became work. It was. It did become work. It became work, right? It became a bit of a chore. And I actually wrote some things down I wanted to, I wanted to actually explain and talk mm. about. Um, it's true. We put a, I'd put aside three days a week where I'd make sure I'd edit one or two videos. And how long would those take you for those people who don't know? Um, say it's a, a video that's going to like, like 10 to 10 minutes for a single, it would probably take me half an hour to do, half an hour to 45 minutes. But if it was an album, say a 40 minute video, it'd probably take me three to four hours to do. Right. And so f- the crux of it for me, and I, I'm going to read what I wrote because writing helps me think why mm. we stopped. It started, at least this is my experience, your experience might be a little bit different. For me, it started being work and obligation, started taking it too seriously. You know, we originally started, it was just about music mm-hmm. and sharing our love for music. Remember on the radio station? Yeah, for sure. Right? We are in that studio, man, it was like, we were so excited. Yeah, we to, had to play music, especially music that we both haven't heard to show each other uh-huh. and we're feeling things. We were having fun. Hell yeah, we were Not to fun. say we weren't having fun when we were together in, in, mm. in, in my home, but you know go ahead I was going to say I think a lot of it is we're always having fun recording but then when it gets to the editing stage yes. of things we weren't always mentally prepared to do it but we got to a stage where we were we were wanting to put out that content but maybe not in the, the right mind frame to get that thing prepared to put out and because we want to be doing other things I think because of all that built up then anticipating to, to actually review music became for me became like oh man why am I feeling like this I actually don't really want to do this right now mm. and i'm like okay when you feel like that it's time to step back because mm. i'm i'm not we're not gonna force ourselves yeah, you always want to make sure you want to be doing it absolutely and you're still taking joy and meaning out of it also fuck you justin timberlake anyways continue <laughs> what was that album a man shit in the woods shit in the woods probably one of my favorite reviews oh how much i lose my mind that is iconic oh my god i feel like we should just play a little bit of that <laughs> Um, just play the intro because the intro shows the best parts oh my god so it uh, was that for those was a who, hard album to get through a man uh, takes shit. a shit in the woods now hopefully that pops up on YouTube why the fuck did you tell him it was a bad idea for L? you knew that shit was trash god damn it Jungle Boogle oops <laughs> I mean, Jungle, ju- jungle Beats. Shit was my favourite review I still, Jungle, ju- jungle Beats was my favourite review I still think Run the Jewels 3 is one of my favourites I really wished that Justin Timberlake got more. I really wished it got more views. Take a listen to this. <laughs> you tried your um, things, didn't work. Try again. Yeah. <laughs> We're here to review <laughs> Justin Timberlake's uh, man taking a shit in the woods. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> what is it, Christmas? I just threw a chair, that's what that sounds <laughs> Is it fucking Christmas? <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho, ho! Ho, oh, Merry fucking Christmas, fuckers! <laughs> Repetitive. We're losing our minds. Bullshit. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give us another three minutes of this bullshit.
I'm not angry at you, Justin. I'm just disappointed. Oh. Have you heard your mother? Are you? Praise the Lord! Right. You're repeating too much. Why is he repeating just, so much? We have the same fucking line 20 times. Because he feels like he's stuck in the fucking 2000s. Yeah, still. I don't uh, know if they could hear that, but I'll edit it out if they can't. Um, oh, God. So. Th then we got kicked off radio, mm -hmm. right? And that really took us a tailspin. If you want to know why we got kicked off uh, radio, then we made a video on Jungle Beats about it. I'm not going to exactly. talk about it right now. Yeah, check it out, yeah. Um, it's literally why, we, why Jungle Beats got kicked off radio whatever we built our own studio we were serious man mm. like we were hella serious we legitimately teamed up with a bunch of people built our own studio to record shit in and spent a lot invested a lot of money oh my into it. rent like, one of my goals for i think 2019 was pay no rent on that studio anymore <laughs> like i have financial goals i review every year oh, right man. that was one of them i'm like i am not doing that again but we experienced it we did and it was a clusterfuck. Fucking oath. And even thinking about it now is like, God, I'm glad that's over. Mm -hmm. And I think we all are. Um, but like the vision, and I think we can both share this vision, was that Melbourne and Australia does not have a hip hop voice for radio. No. What a shame. People would argue that it's Hal from Triple J, but he only has like an hour to speak, so. I don't, I don't, know, that, uh, I don't know that guy, but mm. even... That's great if he is representing, but if he only has an hour or two, come on, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, but I still agree with you. Like, I think you need someone that has like an everyday thing, like every day just posting shit about yes. Melbourne hip hop. Scene. And that's why we, we, we were lucky enough to get a couple of hours segment mm -hmm. every Wednesday. Um, I was I was I don't I don't know. I st maybe I'm just p too petty, but I don't feel like mentioning a radio station right now um, that we were on. Um, you can find it. Um, we built our own studio. We invested thousands and we're like, let's do this ourselves. We don't need them. Mm -hmm. We don't, right? Uh, then that moved on. We moved to my place and it became a side hobby into a serious thing, mm -hmm. right? And then for me, it didn't become enjoyable anymore. I wasn't having as much fun and th that shouldn't exist, I think, where we take it too seriously. If we take it too seriously, you stop enjoying it and it becomes a professional thing that you're trying really hard to do. And some things in life aren't meant to be that. I agree. I think once, you said it perfectly, once you realize that the enjoyment is becoming more of a chore, take a step back. Yep. Find something else to enjoy. Yep. The world is fucking endless. Right. And that brings up, actually, is there any other points that you want to talk about why we stopped? No. Okay. I want... Have you heard of uh, on, on Spotify? Um, they've popped up this thing called The Drive. You seen that? Mm, I don't think so. Okay. Hopefully I can pull it up in time. I might... Scared! Your Daily Drive. No, I Okay. I, not everyone has access to this probably. It is basically a news and music almost like a playlist, but it updates mm. weekly depending on the news, right? Nice. So you're supposed to play it while you drive, call your daily drive, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna play it over the mic, all right? Hopefully this works. Your daily drive, a mix of news and music made for your commute. From the newsroom at news.com.au, brought to you by Optus 5G. The sponsorship. Hi, I'm Andrew Bucklow. And I'm Bronte Coy. And this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Tuesday, the 11th of February. Okay. Four Australians are among more than 60 newly confirmed coronavirus cases aboard a quarantine cruise ship. That's great. In Yokohama, Japanese Love that. Authority. The, uh, this is from news.com. So basically, mm -hmm. .com.au. So it basically pulls news that people on Spotify are from your region, your area. Okay. Then it gives you a playlist. So, oh, it gives me, it gives me four songs. And then it gives me another news bit from another different provider gives me another four songs and it repeats okay what is this like what is this like what do you mean it's like the radio news music yeah you're right it is like news music talk mm -hmm. okay so man we've really got sidetracked we this is an hour ago Right. Passengers have been voicing their concern about the weight on the ship, including flying banners calling for help from the ship's back in the two countries. And they just go fell apart back in October. To some royal news now, and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may have turned down an invitation to attend the Oscars. But there's one this. thing that the Duke of Sussex won't give up without a fight. Really this story hits a little bit too close oh. to home for me. Prince Harry. I don't care about news to an extent. I'm talking about 
the things that they're talking about, the way they're talking about, it's just like they're reading off a piece of paper. There's no real personality. There's no, yeah, there's no, there's no life, forth, yeah. right? There's no banter. There's no like, oh, we have to fulfill, we can't swear, we can't do this, we can't do that. Yeah. But what I'm thinking, we could do this, man. We could do that much better. Oh, fucking oath we could. Bro, are you serious? We could put a lot of personality into the news and joke around a bit as well. Like, like pe keep people engaged and interested. We c Yeah, we could offer, like, we talk about Jungle Beats Radio. Mm -hmm. That's what we originally called. We want to create Melbourne's uh, biggest hip-hop radio station. Mm -hmm. Who says we need the radio? We don't need the radio. We can go to podcasting platforms. Yeah, the radio is dying. Radio is becoming podcasting. Right. So, this makes me think, I wonder, could we design something like this ourselves? Yes, easily. Why not? We could sit here and do it. We could sit here. We could actually give people something of value. It's like, here's relevant music news. Here's some things we've been thinking about and talking about. Hey, like we could, whatever. And here's some shit that's been going on in Australia, which you might not have known. Right. Talk about whatever we want to talk about news related. And then we give a music from us, like we used to do back on radio. Mm -hmm. We'd give our favorite songs we've been jamming to. Honey. The Jungle Beat of the Week. Hey. Who says we can't give them those, then go into another segment. It's true, bro. I think there's something here. What do you think? Yeah, I'm down. Hmm, how would you do that? So you need a, so you've got a picture, a title, a quick synopsis, and the tracks that'll be playing. I'm thinking, how do we create the both in the one? How do we put the aud the voice talking and then the, the music after it? Because I really like the layout of this. It's layout good. is good. Right? It's got the topic and the tracks underneath. So maybe we could create a playlist of some sort. Hmm. So I'm thinking, look, the reality, the, I don't know if we'll go back to, I don't know if I'm, I'm not really interested right now. I'm going back to reviewing music in the same way we did it. Mm. So you got to reinvent yourself if you find ways to do that. Yeah, I feel like the way, I think the way I'm looking at it, you're looking at it is reviewing music is, it's kind of boxed in, right? It's not, so flooded There's now. not too much you can do outside the box because people just want to hear review it. But with what you're talking about here, there's so many boxes you can expand into. Like there's not really a, a line which you can't cross. Like, you're still doing what you're setting out to do, but there's also so much more that you can just add in there, which is still out of context, but then you're staying within relevancy. Right, within your structure. Mm -hmm. And um, it, I think it's so much less time consuming. Mm. There's no editing, right? It this just, is true. I pull the audio, I chop, 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 and then I upload it. We make a playlist of music. I don't know, if, if we're going to go back to Jungle Beats, then I think this got me excited hmm. to do something different, a bit, yeah, it's a bit, a bit different and interesting. What do you think? I like it. More discussions, more... <laughs> Sorry, I'm a, I think I need something to eat. I'm pretty fucking... I can see you going downhill. I'm pretty lethargic, eh? I should have... I should have eaten something before I came. You're going down. You've fa you're been fasting all day. I'm fucking going down. No, I'm not fasting. I just, uh, I just had a lot. I just bust a lot of nuts this morning. So I understand. So a lot of my energy has been uh, released. God damn that woman who took your nuts and took your vitality. Mm. Little did she know she would be affecting this vitality. podcast. Vitality. How selfish of you, lady. How dare you. How dare you. <laughs> How dare you suck. The energy out of my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, <laughs> to finish off this junk, we're gonna we're gonna put this on Jungle Beats. When you get back, that would probably be something to do, right? Bust another nut. Well, you're gonna do that regardless. I'm talking about oh, this. Yes, yes. Your daily drive with Jungle Beats. Jungle, yes. Right, whatever it is. I think, yeah, I think we'll come up with a name. I think we'll come up with a way to do it that's different to the way you've done it, but still similar in a way, because mm. that's what's inspired it. Right. Mm. Yeah, I like the idea of uh, talking about our passion, uh, mentioning, like, news or things people aren't aware of that is to do with the area from. I like the idea of having also the, still the randomness and other stuff as well. And just um, once a week type thing. Yes. And building a fan base of that. And also, like you said, the... 
there's not really much to edit it's more just like we do it we create a playlist playlist put it up and yeah i think and also the fact that a playlist like we i reckon we could pick like maybe five tracks each 10 tracks a week yeah well we don't need to do that much either we could do maybe two so i might upload this when you get back from uh sydney yes um this particular one on jungle beats Mm -hmm. because i think it's a good idea and um i like it i'd rather people jack our idea after we do it you Mm. know what i'm saying and also in that time frame as well we can figure out more ways to yeah improve and add to make it more like i don't know just a really a really good and fun thing to do absolutely so when you get back when will you get back after may mm. so may 2020 you'll come back in 2021 pretty much Damn, it's a long, it's a long, i mean it's a long time but what if i get a job there that's a the thing that's another thing well, who knows what's gonna who happen knows, this is I'm just a, a good excited. idea it's exactly it's a good ass idea good ass good ass job good ass job you should be excited, man. Oh, easy. <laughs> easy, easy. I am excited, man. I'm excited for everything. Life Good. is full of unknowns. It I'm is. Just waiting for me to just eat them up like fresh oranges. I love me some oranges, bro. Yeah. 